Hello, Pastor Don here on a Wednesday morning, the uh, 17th of March. And uh, today we continue with our, our scripture readings. Today, I wanna welcome those of you who are, are new to this and um, hope that it's a blessing for you to uh, spend a few minutes in scripture to get your day started. Today, I wanna talk about um, something that has been referred to as sort of the ordination rite for the disciples. Uh, it was a, a set of instructions that uh, Jesus gave to them in the book of Matthew called the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, I've talked about this before, but um, I think it's a very uh, relevant thing for us just about any time to, to revisit it uh, because it does sort of describe the bottom line of what it is to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. So here's the reading as it goes uh, in chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. And then he began to speak, and he taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Well, as I said at the outset, this is uh, a uh, passage of scripture that some have described as sort of the ordination rite for uh, the disciples. It's also uh, something that is relevant for us today as we uh, ask the question, what does it mean to be a disciple of, of Jesus Christ? You know, this is uh, maybe uh, a little bit of hyperbole, but this uh, passage has also been called the, the Magna Carta of the Kingdom. It is the bottom line of how it is we are to conduct ourselves as, as disciples of Jesus Christ. Um, another term that's been applied to it is it's the manifesto of, of the king. And so just as Jesus uh, gave this instruction for the work uh, of the disciples, it's also a standard of, of uh, moral and ethical living for each and every one of us. And that's why I say it's important occasionally to, to return to it as a, a reminder of what is the bedrock expectation of us as a, a disciple. And uh, there it is for you in the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew in the first, uh, fifth chapter. Uh, let's pray briefly. Gracious God, thank you for the reminder of what it is uh, it means to follow you. You've laid it out crisply in scripture and we thank you that you remind us uh, who we are to be lord in your mercy hear our prayer lord we're grateful that this new day has presented uh, opportunities some known some unknown and among them are the opportunities that present themselves for us to spend time in prayer or to uh, read bits of scripture so Lord, help us to take advantage of all that you have made available to us today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we're beginning to see now uh, people returning with confidence to uh, more public activities. As we see more and more people returning to church, we pray, Lord, that we continue to be safe and that people feel blessed to be able to return to their houses of worship. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as we continue to watch the progress of, of vaccinations occurring in an ever widening circle, we pray that we don't lose sight of the fact that we are not completely out of this pandemic yet. So help us not, Lord, to, to backslide. Help us to continue to be careful. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask your blessings on this day. 
we ask that we might be a beacon of light to those who are seeking. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for spending uh, uh, time uh, with me this morning. And until we meet again tomorrow on Thursday, this is Pastor Don saying, I hope you're well and uh, God bless.